good afternoon everyone. I am making another dinner tonight, so hug in a mug chicken soup. This is a super super easy um, soup recipe and it's really delicious and I feel like it's just got a lot of goodness in it. Um, so we're going to get straight into making that. So I'm just quitting a recipe and going into that. So first off it just says to put in two sprigs of parsley. It does say leaves only but I just always chuck it all in. One carrot cut into pieces, so I'm just chucking that in as well. One stalk of celery. My celery's from the freezer, so it's like a little bit limp. Um, 100 grams of mushrooms cut into halves. And 150 grams of onion cut into quarters. Okay, now we're popping on our lid. And we're going to chop that on speed six for five seconds. So as you can see, it splits up all those veggies. Um, doesn't look super appealing, but it makes a good base for our soup. Vanessa... It's the best recipe, easy and so yum in this cooler weather. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'd normally try and make like some bread or something to go with it, but I didn't today. But I do have some leftover pretzels um, with parmesan, which I think will be nice to have with it. So we're putting in 50 grams of butter. And popping up. And that's then going to saute for five minutes. So while that's doing that, I'm just going to grab some water. Give me a second. So I've just got my water, I've got that ready to go for one of the next steps where we're going to put in water, some stock, a little bit of flour, our chicken and some pepper um, and put it on to cook. So after this, let's see what we've got to do. So there's not many steps in this recipe, which I like. So after this, we're literally just adding in our chicken flour um, and pepper and we're going to cook that for one minute. And then we'll add in our water and stock paste and cook for 15 minutes. And then our soup is ready. So it is a very, very easy, um, not many steps involved recipe, which is super handy um, and makes it quick to throw dinner together. Um, plus it's packed with goodness. Sorry, my internet's cutting out a little bit. So while it's cooking, I thought we could have a look at a few of the other things of the thermomix. So in our recipe, so this is a cookie dough recipe, you can scroll down and have a look at the information while it's cooking. So you can see your difficulty, your prep time, total time and your serving size, your ingredients and your preparation. It will also tell you what utensils you may need for making the recipe, um, some hints and tricks, so tips, um, so it has a tip that you can make your chicken stock paste from cookie dough as well. And it also gives you um, variations. So for a gluten-free chicken soup, um, just for, you just would replace your plain flour with gluten-free flour and, and then carry on with the recipe. So it's simple to substitute um, this recipe to make it a gluten-free option, which it's good that it tells you that. And then you've also got your nutritional information as well. So you've got per one portion, you've got your energy, protein, carbs and fat. So if you're tracking and doing that kind of thing, you can see all of those um, things that you yeah, that you would need to, to keep track of. The other thing that you can do while it's cooking is you can go in and have a look at your week so that you can um, see what else you've got coming up throughout the week. Um, so tonight I'm doing an online demo and we're making the creamy tomato and salami fettuccine. And then we've also got next 
Tomorrow we're making chunky bolognese, Thursday vegetarian chili, and Friday creamy tomato and basil soup. So you can have a look ahead and see what's coming up, which I really like. Um, you can also just search cookie do if you want to while you're cooking or even while even when you're not cooking you can search cookie do right on the screen of your thermomix as well. Um, and if I swipe across to the other side I can see all of my other functions of the thermomix um, that I may want to have a look at into while um, cooking as well. So we've got one minute left um, of this step which we are currently at 95 degrees. I can tell that by the little number above my 120. So the Thermomix is set to 120 degrees, but it's currently at 95 degrees. We're on speed two and we've got just one minute left to go. So we are making some progress, which is good. I'm just gonna pop this butter back in the fridge. Just clearing my space a little bit so that we're ready to carry on with the recipe. Um, so yeah, just got 15 seconds on the clock. Alrighty, so the recipe is asking for 500 grams of chicken cut into pieces. Um, I'm using slightly less just because that was the portion I had frozen in the freezer. 350 grams, but that will be fine for my family. Um, and then we need 50 grams of flour. And two pinches of pepper. Popping our lid back on. And that's just going to cook for one minute initially. And then we're going to add in our stock and our liquid, our water, and put our soup on to finish cooking. And that's literally it. Our soup will be ready in the next like 15 minutes. So let me just pop this away. Something I love is that I do try and clean up as I cook so that then when our dinner is ready um, or whatever I'm cooking is ready, uh, I don't have much to clean up so we're already doing that throughout the process which makes it super easy. Alright, so that is just combining through with our veggies and now we've got 10 seconds left. We'll add in these last couple ingredients. If anyone has any questions, please feel free to ask them. I will do my best to answer along the way. So 800 grams of water. So this is what it's looking like at the moment, which does not look super appealing, but it will taste really good. It smells packed with flavor. So 800 grams of water is going in. And one tablespoon of chicken stock paste, which is from the cookie dough recipe. Popping our lid back on. And that's going to speed one for 15 minutes and then our soup will be ready. So super, super easy um, and not much fuss at all. So yeah, thanks for joining today. We will have this soup tonight for dinner and I hope you guys have a good night too. Thanks guys, bye.